Howdy folks, Drake Indrill here again, and it's been some time since I posted anything, and I decided to do a short little vid now, because I literally just got done texting with a very good friend, and like a brother, Gib, who was giving me a really hard time about my modded Skyrim. I don't post anything on Skyrim, although I keep saying I'm going to, um... So pretty much just picking up this recording where my current playthrough is. I have four followers with me. Lucian, Inigo, Sarana, and Oi. Like to see you. They all interact with each other. Uh, although so, Lucian, is there anyone special waiting for you back home? Of course. Point made. I mean, I hope they're not actually waiting for me per se, but I'm sure my parents will be glad to have me back when this is all over. I was not talking about your parents, my friend. No? Then what did you mean? I meant, do you have a partner? Oh, I see. Well, yes, we're all partners here, aren't we? Partners in crime. And now you are being deliberately obtuse. And you are being nosy. Hey, <laughs> fair enough. And my point was just made. Lucian doesn't seem to have any interaction with Serana. Well, uh, not a big deal anyway. They talk enough. But I thought we would see what this video may end up being. I've got 261 mods installed. Yes, it is a bit excessive. So, Gib was telling me. And I'm coming up on a bandit camp. Oh, and by the way, here's what I look like. I'm a bit ugly. Why did I go to the menu? What the? That's not what I meant to do. Sneak up on some bandits. And yes, you will see that the bandits are mostly female. Thanks to a mod called More Wenches. Or is it More Wenches Adventures? Or one or the other. Or a combination of the two. These chicks are tough. And they... We'll take that, we'll take that. Uh, lock picks are always good. notice is I have a music replacer installed. Let's see, Blackfire Me, Gold, nothing there. Uh, this new insulated dragon plate, uh, I've got enough of that. Robber's Cave, okay, I'll take that. You resurrected a dog. Really? Sorry, Serana. It's time to put him down. Yeah, I did that. Let's see what we have, what we have. Good. Ooh. 
take it. Uh. Oh, excuse me. I think that last bandit we killed might have been ill. Yeah, she's a cannibal. And really cute. <laughs> Let's see. Healing. Money. Got that one. Chest. No, another mod I installed is more interesting loot. Revised, to be exact. Uh, fills the chest with all kinds of goodies. Although this is from Creation Club content, I'm pretty sure. I've been skipping over a lot of this stuff. Okay. Oh, and another mod. True Flame. I know there's a Creation Club content version of this, but I like this version better. I think it's much more accurate to the Morrowind version. Oh, I don't need those. Ooh. Uh, I have Smim installed, Static Mesh Improvement Mod, which gives me opening barrels, various other things. And if you also didn't notice, notice there are some real, semi-realistic physics going on. <coughs> Pardon me. So... Robert's Cave. And the Leader's Journal. I'm not going to read that. Painting for the museum. Legacy of the, of the Dragonborn Museum. That's also installed. Oh, and light right there on my belt. Equipable lantern, although not the one that seems to be more popular. I have tried that one. I prefer this one. Oh. Mm. And I need nails. I don't think I have those actually. More nails. More money. Like I really need a lot of that right now. Uh, money. Nails, fittings. Yes, I collect alchemy ingredients, so... Because I make poisons. Some pretty nasty ones, too. And I don't need salmon. Salmon. Oh, really? Museum. What's inside? Okay. Where's that exit? I'm glad yeah. to see you. Yeah, you, you too, Ari. There is one thing that bu is bugging me. Right where my crosshair is this green tint. I've been seeing it all over in various watery places in the, of, of the map and I don't know what's causing it. It is mildly bugging me but not enough to try and figure it out. Dead. Yes, I know, Ari. I shot it. Wait, there's a chest over there. of deer robes money and jewelry uh, 
as you can see, I'm not really hurting for gold. But I will take the alchemy of components. Let's see, where was I headed? Uh, trying to think of areas to go that are going to kind of show off some of the kind of mods I'm running that I are not already obvious. I suppose a Draugr Ruin would be uh, a good place, as I am running... What? They're just crabs. Uh, I am running a Draugr Improvement Mod. The name escapes me at the moment, but... I am running one. I can smell a crab obsession. Mud crab. Oh, they put a fishing spot here too. Lovely creation club content that was kind of forced on everybody with anniversary edition. I've actually managed to uninstall uh, some of those things because it was. I didn't agree with uh, the anniversary edition basically basically stuffing this stuff down our throats. Although some of, some of it is kind of cool. And that would be a dragon. So, do I go up there, or do I go over there? Oh, it's too bad I uninstalled the coin flip mod. So, let's see, what are we going to find? And there's that green tint again. There's Saber Cat running backwards. Uh, okay. Spider. Hey, what was it? Mm -hmm. Yes, you just saw Jiggles. And Jiggles over there. How can I help? No, I see. Help. Something on your mind? Lucian. Training. Excellent. I've been looking forward to this. What shall we work on this time? Uh, let's see. Where's the option that I wanted it to go with? Oh, why not? Wait, you're not gonna hit me, are you? Ow. 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 Let okay. me know if you need anything else. You actually train that follower, which I actually think is kind of cool. In you go. In you go. Okay, fine. You don't want to cooperate? I will make you cooperate. That was discombobulating. In a good way. Uh huh. I usually prefer more educated surroundings. This is no Bard's College, my friend. That place helps me focus my talent for some reason. But I suppose I could try to think of something. Let me think. Um. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Okay. Anything? Not in the mood now, huh? Something on your mind? Let me. Th okay. Here we go. I myself and me joined to sing a song. We opened our mouth and released some words. Trouble nearby. The song will have to wait. Okay.
Why are there drawing her outside? Why is he carrying a cast iron pot? Ah, oh, take that, take that, because yes, I have realistic needs and I need to eat. Did I just take the pot? I think I just took the pot. Yes, Draugr dogs. What the? Where is she? Where is she? You're resurrecting deer now? <sighs> Creepy, crawly, dusty The wolves are my friends because I'm a werewolf. Which happens when you have the mod Moonlight Tails installed. Oh, wait, wait. Off. Oh, there we go. This is for the museum. Another mod that is installed, which is the Morrowind level up sound. Just a bit of nostalgia for me, really. Okay, if by chance someone watches my video that can answer this question, why, with the Serana dialogue add on mod, does she sneeze all the time? It's actually a little annoying. She's a vampire. Why is she sneezing? Mm, no, I think I'm going to go with low. Dead dogs now. And one of Mihail's creations, that was a Spectre. She resurrected another dog. And Lucian has his. Okay, we're set, I guess. Then, if you're noticing the bits of mutagen that I'm picking up. What was that? <laughs> My shadow. Uh, that's from the mod called A Witcher's Adventure. Um, truth be told, as much as I like the mod, I do think the next time I restart it will be getting uninstalled. It is a massive mod that adds 
a lot of features, including Witcher signs. So the signs can be kind of fun. It also adds various Witcher creatures like race and different types of race. No, no, that's Mihail. One of the Mihawk, Mihail creature packs I have installed adds a few Witcher creatures as well. Seem to be fitting with the two, the two mods seem to fit together as well. Dragonfly is on his belt. And I'll teach them to disrespect you with my fangs. Okay. Spiders. That was a dragon. You're trying to fight it through the wall. Okay. No, don't need that. Alright, where's the lever so you guys will stop going nuts? Okay, what am I missing here, people? Come on. Yell it at the screen. I, mean, I will hear you. <laughs> uh... There we go. See now some of this jewelry that added added by the loot mod is pretty cool. He's a little cramped in here, I think, but... Let's see, what else we got? Uh, gems... 
Let's see, what would be another good one to show off? These ones I kind of don't agree with. They're a little weird for Skyrim. And they really drop my frame rates. Yeah. I don't know how I really feel about those ones. But to help my... Uh... There we go. Oh, yeah. This one is pretty badass, I think. Not me, Hamill's work. Fourth Unknown, Clan Fear. Fourth Unknown is the name of the modder. Okay. Dive in the water. I think I'll have to resummon this dude. Have fun. Yes, this is a fire dogger. So we will deal with him with ice. See, one of the downsides to the Mihail creature packs, and that's not including the Clan Fear, because that's another modder, but they, these huge creature packs that I do have installed, um, some, of the, some of the creatures are very lore friendly, some, however, are not. see if there's a sort of a lore friendly patch so that I can get rid of the holders and a few other small things. Yeah, I'll get to you. We are walking through a graveyard. Yes, I know this Inigo. consideration to dropping well not dropping uh, adding a mod for Dawnbreaker this sword that I give to Inigo because he loves that sword um, I would really love the non explodey version so I might pick that up Oh, 
poison arrows. So I'll take those. Now what? Okay, okay. Let me guess, down here somewhere? Shouldn't be. Ring of Surroundings. This is not the loot mod, this is from the museum. Fortify sneak where it's muffled and blue. Uh, I don't need it, but it'll go in the museum anyway. A lost lost verse. Money. Okay. What are you all going ballistic over? That drawer's dead. Nothing uh, must be up top. Who's there? That darn explodey sword awakens everything in like a mile radius or something. Adventuring has been getting more tiring lately, so some reprieve would be nice. Uh, okay. Now let's get going then. After we kill all the undead, not counting you. You know what? No, I'm having fun with my clan here, so. Flame turmoil, that can be fun. Oh, 
See, one thing about the specific Draugr mod I'm running is I love the, the specific characters like o Olaf One Eye here gets his own unique look. Oh, you. Museum. The soul of King Olaf. I don't know what to do with these souls. We've got a few of them. And they're not for enchanting, as far as I can tell. Ooh, I needed that. How many quests did I just knock out? Three? Uh, let's see, what kind of... Loot can we get to? Ebony, mutagen... Disintegrated body underneath there. Void salts. Don't need the hammer. Oh, more poison arrows. I think. How bloody am I? Oh, not too bad. Which is yet another mod that I have installed. Blood and dirt. Is anybody bloody? Of course not. Now, there's a few things I cannot show, which is also one of the reasons why I have yet to do a YouTube series type thing, is that my Skyrim game is actually not very PG. If I took their clothes off, you would see all the naughty bits. Sense of navigation, because I'm not entirely sure I can remember the way out. Good thing I'm not relying on you then. Okay. All right, let's just put him right back in his own coffin. There we go. I hope this jar does not get smashed down here. Oh yes, the shield that Inigo is carrying is also from the loot mod. As a matter of fact, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. More interesting loot reborn. Skyrim relics, Oblivion relics, Morrowind relics, interesting loot relics, and you know, percentages on the drop rates. I do keep turning these down though. I think default is at about 25%. As you can see, I've got most of these down to 10% now because I was getting overloaded in loot. What is a Falmer axe doing in here? Whatever. Bloodworm helm. I've got, also thanks to the loot mod, I've got a collection of about, mm, maybe this is this will make number eight, of the Bloodworm helm. Not the one from the museum, but I think it's a cool design, so I keep grabbing them. This is actually the helmet I'm wearing, although on on me it doesn't look like that. Um, as you can see, it's slightly different. Oh yes, and I have glowing witcher eyes. That is just a part of the race menu mod. Just additional eyes. My friend, wait for me. Yeah, Inigo, I'm waiting, sort of.
Do 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 do. Come on, come on. Everybody. camp and we're gonna go ahead and go with a roaring fire because this will be I think where I camp for the night yes realistic needs I need to sleep then we're gonna sit down really Lucian yes we are Lucian's being a Mm. Uh oh, wait, can't. Mm. Must censor that. Because she's about to. Did she. Oh, oh, good, she didn't strip. You better not be falling asleep there. Indigo, shush. Anyway, that's what we're going to call this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Drop a like and subscribe if you want to. And. I'll catch you all next time, maybe with a proper video of Skyrim. It is a time for sitting and a time for action. This is the latter.